begin with the latest developments on a tanker rollover in Providence, which led to nearly 11,000 gallons of fuel to spill onto the road and into the river. Right now, the Allens Avenue ramp onto Route 95 remains closed as crews work to clean up the mess and assess any damage. We've been tracking the story since last night when the tanker rolled over around 7 o'clock. Environmental officials tell us it's miraculous that the driver was the only person hurt. We're told his injuries are minor. I would assume supporter Kate Walsh has been talking to authorities about the cleanup efforts. She joins us now live in Providence with the latest. Kate. Mike, we are now nearing 24 hours since that tanker rolled over and the oil or the gasoline spilled right here onto Allen's Avenue. And just now we're noticing more equipment and trucks arriving. And RIDOT just told me that they're waiting for the all clear from the hazmat team before these trucks can start milling and repaving the road. That means several hours from now, this part of Allen's Avenue is expected to still be closed and also part of Thurber's Avenue leading to Allen's Avenue as this cleanup continues. Damage done. These photos from a local fisherman show a sheen of gasoline in the Providence River seeping toward East Providence. The day after this, a tanker truck owned by First Petroleum of Rentham, Mass, that was carrying 8,000 gallons of gasoline tipped as it approached this overpass over Allen's Avenue heading onto 95 North in Providence. We've had several trucks tip over on this ramp in the past. This is the biggest issue we've had though. This is the largest spill. Five cars stuck in the flow of gasoline down the ramp and onto Allen's Avenue. State police said the driver, 51 year old Timothy Brothers of Cumberland, was taken to the hospital for minor injuries. This foam shielded the flammable gas from catching fire, but didn't stop it from pouring into storm drains and out into the water. Just how much? The Department of Environmental Management isn't sure. Gasoline is, uh, floats well on water, so you don't usually get a high mixture throughout the water column. And uh, with that tendency, it evaporates even quicker with the wind and sun. So hopefully we don't have any major issues with it, but we'll continue to do water, water sampling and monitor that. And DEM's Jim Ball added there's no indication the gasoline spread out of the river into the bay, but a boom was set up Thursday to collect the fuel in the water. We did not do that last night because if you start to contain a flammable liquid, you, you can develop a flammable atmosphere and it puts other people and the public in danger. As some crews worked in the water, others worked on Allen's Avenue, clearing away the foam and sand mixture. As for the cause of the tip over, state police are still investigating. We have posted detours around this Allen's Avenue area on our website at WPRI.com and new at six o'clock tonight on Eyewitness News. You'll have an in close and up close look on the cleanup efforts being done on the water today. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. First at six, parts of Allen's Avenue near the Thurber's Avenue curve still closed tonight, nearly 24 hours after a fuel tanker overturned on the on-ramp to Route 95. Crews have been working on the scene all day trying to clean up this major spill that was first breaking last night on Eyewitness News at 10 on Fox Providence. We have team coverage tonight, beginning with Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh. Kate. Well, Mike, a company already contracted with RIDOT statewide is currently working here on Allen's Avenue, milling and repaving this road. It was all part of the gasoline spill last night that damaged this road. And we were told just about an hour ago they were waiting for the all clear from the hazmat team to eventually and finally begin this work. Nearly 24 hours of work and still the effects of a massive gasoline spill very visible, at least on land. A tanker truck owned by First Petroleum of Rentham, Mass, carrying 11,000 gallons of gasoline tipped on the on-ramp from Allen's Avenue to 95 North, dumping 10,600 gallons onto Allen's Avenue and into the water. It's no drastic outcome. Um, it's really miraculous that nobody was hurt. State police say only the driver of the truck, 51 year old Timothy Brothers of Cumberland, had minor injuries. The concern now, the gasoline that seeped from the road to the storm drains and into the Providence River. Thursday morning, a fisherman sent eyewitness news these photos of a sheen of gasoline on the water. It's going to be really difficult to quantify. We'll do the best with our kind of a mass balance of information that we have. State police added the investigation into the cause of the tip over is ongoing. So there's no word yet on possible charges or fines against the company. 
Now this morning when we were driving here, we could actually smell the gasoline miles away. We also had viewer emails saying the same thing. It was very difficult getting here due to road closures and lots of traffic in the morning commute. Walt Buteau came just about an hour, an hour and a half ago, and how was the traffic then? Tell you what, any road that is paralleling Allen's Avenue, Broad Street, let's say, or, or, uh, or Eddy, is clogged up. Mm. People trying to figure out another way around all of this. We can take you down the street here. The reason we came here was to kind of look into the environmental impact, the potential impact on the bay. The storm drain that is at the bottom of that on-ramp on is one of 18,000 that deposit street grime and water into the bay all the time. You could see the scene of the crash off in the distance just beyond the gliding seagull where crews in yellow safety vests were walking along the ramp. The concern involves a stretch of the Providence River transformed over the last several years by tougher laws and enforcement. You know, a generation ago, this was an open sewer out here. We cruised close to the storm drain that runs underground to the off-ramp crash. What are you looking for as we head out So, here? obviously any, any kind of a gasoline sheen on the water. Save the Bay is worried about the gasoline and the foam that was used on the ramp and nearby vehicles. We're told the sheen had more than likely evaporated quickly, in part because of the mild weather and relatively warm water. But DEM and Save the Bay plan on monitoring the area in the coming days for other potential impacts. Uh, dead fish, birds that seem in distress, anything like that. Uh, luckily, we're not seeing anything. Thing, which is a good sign. This one spill is also a reminder of daily issues involving storm drains that run into the bay. The trace amounts of gasoline and oil that many cars deposit on our roads add up. When the rain comes, that washes all of that pollution right into Narragansett Bay through storm drains. So it's an ongoing problem day to day. And that is something that the DEM is concerned with as well. We're told that that agency has been working on a strategy to better contain some of that runoff, and they hope to get that underway as soon as possible. With the Target 12 investigators in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.